thanks for checking out my quick DIY. Today I'm going to show you really quick just how I make my little protectors for my wallets. I did um, a review on my Adele wallet and I'll go ahead and link that up in um, the tab as well as in the comments. But in that video I showed um, the wear and tear of my Adele wallet as well as review and in it I had some sleeves that I use to protect my wallet from cash, from other um, coins, and also from other just little things that may make your wallet dirty. So now that I'm um, officially using my Sarah wallet as an everyday wallet, I'm gonna quick make some sleeves to go in here for my cash as well as for my change. And then while I'm at it, I'm also gonna do a couple sleeves for my um, key pouches. They're great if you're putting coins in your wallet. Also, if you're putting cash in your wallet and you don't want that kind of everyday grime to get in the sleeves. I also think if you are planning on ever reselling your wallets, it's a great way to keep the pockets looking really, really clean and fresh. So all I did is I went to, um, this one I actually got at a, at like a Target, I think, but I'll link in the bottom some different options of sleeves, but I just got some scrapbooking sleeves and these ones are already pre-divided up. Um, on here it shows you the divisions, kind of how much you get in each case, but basically the sleeves are either four inch by six inch or three inch by four inch pockets. And when you're buying some, just make sure that some of them open on the top and some open that they're, you know, lengthwise and longwise. You really want the longwise ones. So the horizontal. <laughs> so what I did is I went ahead and um, the sleeves come, you know, kind of already pre sleeved or pre-pocketed out and what I do is you know they usually just open on one side so all I'm going to do is cut along the edge and along the other edge and then all I do is measure it inside the um, wallet and it's a great little way to protect like I said protect your wallet so this is just one little pouch the um, bills US bills fit perfectly uh, horizontally in here and change actually because the wallets are kind of made in the shape too and then I just go right across the top change fits in there perfectly as well and I just think it's such an easy way to kind of have additional protection in your wallet so this sleeve will fit right back here and there we go. I can also cut it down a little bit if I want or if I wanted it bigger. And the nice part is once you kind of get them a little bit more um, flexible, they do kind of just open. So here's, I don't know if you can really see, here it is in my wallet. And it's a great way just to keep cash. And then I also can, I'll throw in change just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like in the middle zip pouch. The zipper pouches are a little bit more tricky. You want to make sure that you do not have it close to the zipper, but here it is. Let's get it in the zipper pouch. Oops, sorry, my Benny is falling out. And I can just throw my change in there. And like I said, easy, super simple way to protect the sleeves. And there it is. Sometimes um, I will cut the edges to just a little bit closer. And so I made them for pretty much this back pocket. And the, the place where I keep my money really is the most, to me, the most dirty. And also, if you have a light colored wallet, like the Rose Ballerine, I think it's a perfect way to, if you're doing receipts or something in there, it's a great way to keep um, your receipts if you're ever worried about the the rub off of the receipt paper getting on your wallet. These sleeves are perfect. And then what I'm just going to use are these little side sleeves. So these ones just open right here at, let's see, this one right here at the top. So I'm gonna use the smaller size for inside my key pouch. And again, same thing, I will, I already cut one off. So just cut it off, you have yourself a little pouch and it fits perfectly right in there. And again, a great way to protect the insides of your welds. And that's all, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please definitely let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see any reviews on any of the products that I have, definitely let me know. And if you'd like to check me out on Instagram, I'd love it. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you'd enjoy this. If you guys have any questions again, let me know. Thanks.